G'day guys, we've made our way down to northwest New South Wales. Um, last week we are up in southwest Queensland, if you haven't watched that video be sure to go back and check it out because it is packed full of action and a lot of fun to film. Um, hopefully this week is going to be just as good. Um, so we're, not, we're staying in the shearers quarters uh, this week, we're not camping, but we will be camping out of the property at some stage during the week because it's a, um, yeah, it's like 200,000 acres or something, so it's a big property and a long way between creek lines so we'll probably camp out one night maybe a bit of a spotlight poke around for pigs the next day yeah just whatever we want to do we can do so um anyway we're gonna go for an evening walk see how we can track down if we can't find anything be back into it tomorrow morning hope you enjoy Had in me crosshairs. Oh. Yep. Got to be a ball. Oh, he's a monster. Mate, that is a big pig. That is huge. Smell the bastard. What's that out there, Skippers? Big and huge. Look at the hooks. Oh, I hope it's not breaking outside. Another one. Back I just took the shot offhand as he's walking across that way. Yeah, I know. Oh, you only see half his back. I could see him just up here. He walked along and then down. I pulled the trigger twice and it wouldn't That's go. That's a monster ball. He may the be the biggest four of them shot. Fair Yeah, he's big. He's big, big. He's like big, he's big. He's kilo plus big. Yeah. And he's like a monster big. It's going to take a while to die. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, but I'm not going to grab him until he stops. Bastard, because I had him in his sights and everything. I was oh, squeezing the trigger and it wouldn't go. I had the, the bloody all this digging up there, and I was like, it's all right in here. Good hooks. That is a monster. Now we're talking. Good stuff, dude. That's exactly what I was looking for. Well, everyone, <laughs> um, I was poking along this bit of stuff here, and I've seen this black object in the grass here, and I was, had the rifle up, and um, squeezing the trigger, it wouldn't go. Put the bolt down, squeeze the trigger, it wouldn't go. I don't know what the hell was going on. Um, and then, yeah, he shot, and Glenno shot him, so I was going to size that for a pig. That's a 100 kilo plus four, big hooks on him. I was making sure I hit him well, pulled him, dropped him on the spot. Bloody oath. That's uh, first day. That's a, that's a tonner. That's a tonner. That's a ton, that's a ton mate. Good stuff. Get a quick photo, eh? Guys, this is that pig we just shot, or Glenno shot, sorry. Look at the mass across the shoulders of that pig. That is a hundred kilo plus ball. His ears all ripped up, as you can see. Lift his jaw out. Can I give us a look at his jaw, mate? Yeah, he's lost he's a lost a grinder off his. It's rotted out one side. Right inside there, look at that. And the tooth has just grown huge. It's actually yeah, it's a little bit of a grinder there, but it's not. It's yeah, not, not much. much. He's got, he stinks. Yeah, he's been eating something. And he's got a grain. It's a weapon, dude. That is an absolute weapon of a pig. That is a beast of pig. I reckon it's the biggest I've ever shot, to be honest. Hello. Well done, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well, we've done the yards. Today we've just been doing some scouting. Bit and, of scouting, yeah. And that. And I've shot pigs on this creek before, so I thought, well, it'll be worth a walk. It is absolutely terrible walking in here. Yeah. Everything is scratchy, sticky. And noisy. And noisy. 
and you just got to keep plugging through and we come into this bit of a flat area and there's a heap of digging about 100 metres up and I actually just looked down and said there's digging you know expecting to see a little runt of pig not a bloody monster I expecting to see a little like 20 or 30 kilo runt, runt with his ribs hanging out not this monster I didn't even realise he was this big yeah I just seen his back in all the grass and just slogged him as I said before I reckon I reckon I've seen him first yeah, yeah. I've seen him probably I don't know, 10 seconds before Glenno shot, and the old Tika, I think I've done the old amateur trick and not had one up, not had one up the spout again. Oh, again. Just quietly. Um, <laughs> finders keepers, shooters finders keepers. keepers. Bloody oath, mate. He's yours. Good pig. This would have to be, I reckon, the biggest pig I've ever shot in my life. I shot one very close to it. So there is foxes here, mate. There is foxes here, dude. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Darling, little tackle, but he's a fox. That's a scalp. <laughs> you got a knife? Enough. Lucky I have. You're a good boy. <laughs> I'm watching, I'm just sitting there looking at him going, he'll uh, you'll, you'll realise eventually because I'm slowing right down. I'm looking at the roos out here thinking, you cheeky buggers. I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, um, we talked about sitters out here. <laughs> yeah, they haven't been shot, have they? No. Yeah. Yeah, you, you clipped him with the first one. Yeah, I must hit his foot or something, I was under him. I don't like that swag anymore. Don't like it? Can't get a good rest off it. Oh too soft? Yeah. Put it on the side of the road. With the with the roof rack I can sort of wrap me thing around and have my other hand on the roof rack. Okay. Well we go back to ditch it. Nah. Oh, he's a decent size. There's foxes up here, Glenna. I thought they were. Oh, they're not with that side. Beautiful. Actually, where is your phone? Oh, oh, it's in my pocket. Yeah. Ripper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey! Yeah. Cheeky little bastard. Cheeky little bastard. Running up and down that channel. Yeah. Oh, I knew what he was up to. He's a real careful. He's a big pig. Shit, he's a big pig. Yeah, give, give me another one, mate. Oh, shit. That's two monsters in a day. What the fuck? He's only got a little jaw on him. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, look at the bullet holes I've shot into him. Oh, oh. Um, probably we're running Gun Kings. <laughs> I think I've hit him three times. Yeah, he, oh, it was definitely three. Definitely hits. two, if not three. Yeah. yeah. That's why Gun Kings are the guy with this sort of thing. Yeah, he's got nothing. He snapped them off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, how's that? I spoke there, and that noise got his attention. That's not exactly what I wanted to call up, but no. we'll take it. So, all right, guys, so we're down at the other property at uh, Northwest New South Wales. The old 3D printed tenor field whistle. Having a bit of a fox whistle, we've already shot two. We thought, oh, we'll just stop at this tank and have a bit of a fox whistle along this creek and see, see what comes up. And I must say, it's not every day that your fox whistling 
for 100 kilo boars. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. That is 100 kilo, or yeah, close to, I reckon, wouldn't you, Glen, eh? Oh, it's, it, it's, it's in a bare minimum 85, 90 category. Yeah, she's close. There. That's all a big, big All the tusks are busted off. You've only got one little pointer there. Yeah, I've, I've weighed a lot of pigs, mate, and that'd be that'd be starting at 85 kilos. Yeah. And, and that's being really, really, I reckon more like 90 plus. 3D tenor field, 3D printed tenor field whistle. Get the job done. Here we are, guys. It's not every day that you can say you uh, whistled in a 90 to 100 kilo ball. We heard him crashing through the thistles and thought, shit, that ain't a fox. And um, yeah, shone a light on him, and sure enough, it's a big boar. So, as I said, Glenn, I put a put a round of triple A's into him, and then I um, finished him off with a couple of game kings from two to three. So, we're not really equipped for solid units like this, but we got the job done. Uh, we're looking for cats and foxes. Looking for cats and foxes, not big uh, big boars like that. But anyway, can't complain, mate. Definitely not. <laughs> cool. driven all the way out to the back of the property, just in behind the canopy to get away from the wind. All the way to the back of the property. Um, just a fair trial, we've taken all afternoon to get out here. We had a bit of a spot one last time, as we've seen. Got that good boar, which is a bit of fun. Never whistled up a boar with a fox whistle before, so that was cool. Um, so we're gonna walk through a bit of lignum and sit on a, sit on a tank for the afternoon, till dark, obviously. Um, so we're gonna walk in there with a 30-30 in the shotgun, and then once we get the tank, we'll, um, just shoot them with a the scope on 308 if they come in. So, fingers crossed, something comes in before dark and we get a gun. Over the top, over the top. Just hang on. Oh, he's going to split. Oh, he's going over the top again. Oh, I can see him. There he is, there he is. <laughs> Well, the pigs are proving a bit harder to find on this property than the last last property we were on. Um, it's just a bit drier, a bit dry, not enough water around to sort of keep them in the creeks and stuff. So went for a bit of a spotlight last night. We finally got a cat. They've been giving us grief for the last week or so. And the elusive mulga rabbit. It's a bit of a story behind that one, but we'll save that for another day. Just an inside joke. Um, but yeah, no, I hope we're going to go for a walk along this creek. The same creek Glenno shot that big ball the first night. Uh, I'm gonna walk that further along towards the homestead, so hopefully we can get into a few there. See how we go. Well, guys, <coughs> jeez, that was a bit of excitement. I was um just poking through this real, jeez, that's a proper cut. Just poking through this really thick stuff. 
really hard to um, see anything in. Been really, really, really slow all the way up here. Felt, I heard something move. That's why they've been tunneling. Look at that. They've been tunneling up underneath this. Anyway, come out here. I shot him here. You can see the stuff there. It's gone all the way through here. And it's ended up expiring down here. It's actually a black and white one. I've been wanting to get a black and white one, so it's not a very big pig. Probably just a sow, but I'm going out and look at it. Yeah, a little sow. Beautiful. Black and white. Awesome. I wanted one of them, so that's cool. We'll get a photo of him. There he is, guys. As I said, it's just a little sow. Black and white. I haven't shot a black and white one yet, so that's, um, yeah, I wanted to get one, so that's really special. So, um, we'll keep going and see if we can get another one. I'm bloody missing all the action on you, sorry, it's just, it's just everything's happening too quick in here for me to get the GoPro going and, and stuff, but it's just happening too quick, it's too dry through here. Yeah, unfortunately I'm just missing it all, but anyway, success, pig down. Too spotty. Oh, is that your shimmy head, yeah? Yeah, I was standing right there. He was standing there looking straight at me, so I headshot him. Good stuff. And then this one jumped across. Hit him right there. That's probably his right there. He's a bit gingery, that one. Yeah. Well, as you would have seen, that was a bit of excitement. Um, just poking through that bit of a creek. I shot my spotty, which I wanted. And then not long after, Glenna shot two spotties together. And then about, I don't know, a minute after that. <laughs> anyway, he um, shot another one across the across the um, channel on my side. Guys couldn't see him, so. So you take the shot. So, good stuff. Um, and then, yeah, walking that thicker stuff, we busted out a couple of boars. Didn't get a shot on them, they were just there one minute, gone the next. Um, yeah, bit of fun. Anyway, might, um, we're going to get up early in the morning and do that other creek, are we, Glenno? Yeah, that'll be a walk, I reckon. That'll be, we'll be searching for a big boar down there. Yeah, be big. stuff down here, I was more looking for what we were looking for, finding family mobs. Yeah. Unfortunately, this section here, I'd love to hunt, but it's... There's a horse paddock down here. Yeah, the horse paddock behind the house, so we can't hunt there. So, yeah. we go out I'll to the begging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> out to the back tanks and see how we go in the morning. Did I get that one, Glenn? Did I get one out, out, that one out in the paddock or not? Sorry? Did I get that one I shot at? Which one? The one out in the paddock. You must have, I heard a hit. I thought you were shooting at this one. There was one run out in the paddock. This is the only one I've seen. Did he run after your shot? Yes. 
Did he drop after I shot? He went down, yeah. I think I shot him too. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Because I hit, I hit him up. Is that my shot there, is it? Probably. Because I was walking on here, I've seen a black shape. I went down like this, and I went oh, took a couple of steps, fucking off, and oh. shot him straight up the ass. Oh, as you wanted your shot then. And then, yeah, no, you hit him too. I hit him too, did I? Yeah, because yeah, I hit him first, and yeah. then you hit him. And he went down. Yeah. <coughs> He's a gnarly old prick. Any jaw? Little ones. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Stocky bugger. Got him. Got him. Another boar. Big fat bugger too. Big fat bugger. Big black and white one. Yeah, black and white one. You got like a ginger sort of. Yeah, he's got the wild bull cow and the white on there. The white socks. White socks, yeah. Was oh. he just standing there, was he? Oh, oh, he's just walking along, yeah. Big razor back, too. Yeah. Oh, he'll take great, great photo. Sorry mate. I think I got that one, didn't I? Yeah, it was bad. Uh, they busted it. They busted it, buddy, it sorry. Shot him, but I I oh. it. Thanks mate. Right, they busted yeah. A little coloured one too, I think. Yeah. There's chopping brush down in there. Yeah, sorry dude, that was. No, you were right. I thought I'd come from the side and try and get a double bump on him, but it just no, didn't they, work. No, he spotted me. He spotted you, did he? Yeah, he yeah. spotted me. Yeah. He didn't even give me a chance. He was just. I might just, I might just stick him. Yeah. Yeah. As you would have seen, guys, I just rolled this little ginger fella over. We're walking through this stuff. I was actually on the other side of the channel. And uh, playing a game with a little whistle, he'd seen this mob just feeding in here. Unfortunately, they busted us before we can get a good look at them. We ended up rolling one on the run, but they just run through this sick shit. We just couldn't get a proper look at them. So, anyway, that's one glad yep. Three for the morning. 
I've got to gift you that one, so I've mate. shot a couple in front of the in front of you. Thanks, channel. buddy. <laughs> Keep going, see if we can get another one. Alright guys, I've just really said I've just got this sear. Um it's got a teeth on it. It's actually got little tusks. <laughs> yeah. Um just got this sear. I know I definitely hit another one in that pack, but I can't find it. But look at all the shit we're walking through, it's hard to find them. Um yeah, so another one on the board. Excellent. That's minced. I got a double. No, no. I'll, I'll bring them over here. Oh, poor little suckers. Come out the wrong way, mate. Right, guys. Hopefully, you've sort of seen a bit of that on camera. I think. Um, I just looked across and Glenna had his rifle up and he shot that sow there and it all hell broke loose, didn't it Glenna? Pigs going everywhere. Oh, pigs going everywhere. I know yeah. you, def you definitely hit another one up there as it's running away. Yeah. Um, it's so hard. Once they start running through this stuff, they're so hard to yeah, shoot that. Yeah, yeah. You, you see an ear and then a head and then a tail. And yep. Anyway, um, and those two little suckers made the wrong move and come across the channel towards me and I cleaned them up with one shot. I got a double there. And then, um, yeah, Glenna went looking for his one that he hit, and then this fella popped up on the other side of the um, channel, and he, shot, and he shot that. So there is definitely another one there, mate. Yeah. Somewhere oh, dead. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get a photo of these, and we'll... Um, good, yeah, get a photo of these and keep going. 24 Magnum from the rear end on this size pig. It should be dead. Yeah. Big down. Big down. Big sail. Beautiful. Alright guys, the GoPro's going flat, so I haven't got a spare battery, I left out a camp bugger it, I thought I did, but I don't. Um, Glenn on the other side of the channel from me and he's flushed this big sow up under the, you saw a little one didn't you? Yeah, there's a little one just about oh, 50 metres in front of it, yeah. he went grunt grunt through the grass so that our mum might be around. Anyway, he's, yeah, then it flushed this big fella across the, big sow across the uh, creek towards me, had a quick shot, but it did, you didn't get him did you? No, I, I, I only had time to the fire off the hip. Yeah. But yeah, I did the usual thing. You yell out to the shooter on the left or right here yep. and often they'll get a better shot. Yeah, and he comes straight up across in front of me and yeah, I put one a little bit too far back. It's on the runs, it's not too bad. And she ran over here and expired. That's 45. That's 16 for this property. Yes. Excellent. We just had a big mob bust up in front of us. 
heap of little ones and a heap and a big one. I shot the big one up the ass because it got through the shit. I don't know where it went to, but I've got a little fella. Managed to catch a little one. He's pretty cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what happened to the big fella, but yeah, or big sow, obviously. But um, as I said, I shot her up the ass. She's coming through the thick shit, but I've uh, I've lost her. So, how'd you go, Gleno? I got one. You got one? Um, so Gleno's got one. Shoot it. Yeah. You got a live one? Got a live one. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll hit that big one as it went through the stuff, but yeah, I don't know where she went to. And Glenn has got a little one, and I've got a little one here too, so. I can't do that. All right, little mate, off you go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly bent. Well, guys, you're probably getting sick of seeing my ugly mug by now. But um, as I said, my GoPro's flat, um, so I'm not getting much footage for you. But I've just popped another pig here. Big sow. Well, that one would have come out good on the GoPro. Yeah, I just popped up out of a channel here, and she was in the next channel. I just looked up the little game trail, and she was standing broadside. You know, she turned to run away, and just gave her one, and yeah, she dropped it. And I just gave her another one to finish her off. So. That's 47. And how many is that this morning? Four this morning. Four. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, you're not, you're not flushing them for me, mate. Yeah. You know, like, you're supposed to flush me one. Four this morning. And how many is that for the... This... this 18, isn't it? For this yeah, property. Yeah. Cool. Get a photo and keep going. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick this up, but all this dirt, all the way over here, all the way back there, for like a hundred metres back, if not more, it's just been turned up by the pigs. So they've been out here during the night time and just, yeah, finding something they like, they like and eating, so it's bloody everywhere. That's it. Heaps of it. Once again, I've flushed another pig for ant. <laughs> this would be the third pig I've flushed for you this morning. Yeah, thanks, mate. You're doing a good job. <laughs> um, so we, yeah, we, um, my GoPro went flat a while back, and ever since then I've been getting good, what, what would have been good GoPro footage as the way it normally goes. Um, anyway, this fella come across the um, across the creek in front of me here. Glenn, I was pushing through some pretty thick shit. Um, I come across the gully, come across the channel, give him a couple of shots. Um, and put him down, so it's another ball. So that's, uh, what's that, five for me this morning? No, four for me this morning four. and one for you. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. And one and one catch and release. And one catch and release. <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't have the heart to. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start with another one. Doop. He rolled, he rolled yeah. over, he got tired. Got tired. Well, I got a baby pig earlier, and now I've got a... <laughs> Now I've got a baby goat. How cute is he? <laughs> oh, I love this shit. This is great fun. He loves it. Well, guys, that's us done. Um, uh, North Northwest New South Wales has been ticked off. We've done a good pig hunt here. We've got 18 between us. Um, and then, yeah, that Queensland one was awesome too. We've got 29 there. So if you haven't watched that video, go back to my channel and... Uh, Make sure to watch that because that is jam-packed full of action. I reckon you'll really enjoy it. If you enjoy this one, you'll enjoy that one. Um, this one was a bit harder to film because it was just that dry and he just busts and picks up underneath you. He didn't have time to click the GoPro. So I didn't get a heap of action on this one, but it's still good. So yeah, 48 pigs between us. I think I got 25, Glenn, I got 23. Um, and a couple of really nice boars. So it's been a great trip. Um, as I said, I hope you really enjoyed it. It's been awesome, awesome fun filming it and being out here doing it. So we've been planning this trip for a lot of years. It's good to finally get up here and get it, um, get it done. So as I said, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.